What if Elon Musk figured out a way to make us feel like we're making our own decisions on X, but instead, just through slight, unnoticeable nudges and rewards, we were being manipulated. And manipulated in a way that makes it so that we're actors serving a bigger purpose. Imagine a hive of bees, each individual bee buzzing around with its own thoughts, goals, internal existence, and it commonly enjoys returning back to the hive and sharing information with what it found. And although each bee's actions might seem insignificant by themselves, together they collectively create a complex and enriched system, and one in which the surrounding environment, the plants that need to be pollinated, depend on. And now translate this vision into the digital world of social media. And imagine a super AI that can tweak all the rewards for each of us, shaping the overall system of X until it affects the environment in a desired way. Well, in this video, we're gonna explore if it's even possible for Elon Musk to use advanced artificial intelligence to manipulate the entire system of Twitter in a way that achieves whatever gigantic global goal he has without us even knowing. And to understand what I'm getting at here, we have to think about Twitter as an entire system, similar to this shirt where each node is an individual user on Twitter, we're talking about the whole thing collectively, like a digital brain. Because if the pieces become more than the sum of their parts, and they're tuned and tweaked and changed in just such a way the whole system can learn. And at that point, you might as well call it a digital global brain, powered by humans. And the reason why I say we might never know is because if you went into the human brain and could talk to an actual individual neuron, it would know nothing about the overall state of human consciousness. And one reason we haven't seen any big network like this gel together in this way before is simply because human CEOs run the big social networks. They don't have the brain power to step back and see the entirety of what they've built. But this is where I wanna connect the social network to the future of artificial intelligence and persuasion. Because Elon Musk's $44 billion purchase of the network, in theory, could be controlled with his new 10,000 GPU purchase for the supercluster that's going to have Twitter access. At that point, that supercomputer could act as the digital brain for how to reward and train the overall system. And then we would all become a global brain. Okay, so what do I mean by like global brain? Let's break down the definition a little bit more. Because there is an analogy with neural networks and deep learning, but it's also something that doesn't just come instinctively. So we have to really think about what it means when it all comes together. Right now, Twitter is a network. And I think we all could understand that, but I wouldn't call it a system that has any ability to think. People are just talking over over each other, it's just pure chaos. It might be great for you to jump in and have some kind of an experience, but the overall system doesn't tend towards one direction that's controlled by a single person. There is no rhyme or reason to it, except for the fact that they're always trying to gauge how much money can be made from advertising and sort of tweak it in that direction. But that's not to say that the system always has to be that way. Because in fact, a blank neural network, a machine learning method that is actually powering a lot of the tools we talk about on this channel, always start out in some kind of a random position until they're fed data and then two specific algorithms start to train it. One is called backpropagation, and that means looking at what went into the system and what came out, measuring the error and going back and tweaking all of the little nodes. Now, gradient descent is a special way to make it so that each of the neurons can actually be adjusted when it comes up with some information that's wrong. You measure the error, and it's a way to go back and adjust all those little knobs so that you have a better, more highly tuned neural network the next time. And backpropagation is the algorithm that actually calculates all those adjustments starting from the endpoint and going back to the starting point. And a neural network like the one that powers ChatGPT it works like a virtual brain made up in this same structure and it calculates through backpropagation and gradient descent how to make adjustments each time. It's fed new information to learn from. And because originally it looks like chaos and then it just nudges itself towards a better and better outcome, there's no reason why Twitter, which looks like it doesn't have this property at this point, might not get it with the right incentives. So for the X network to come together into a gigantic global brain, each of us, the users, which in this case are similar to these nodes, would have to be adjusted and influenced in the direction that the system wants. I could imagine that being done simply by giving us the things humans want the most from these social networks, attention. Like if the overall system has a goal to sell more Teslas, then people who talk about Tesla might just get more impressions, more views, and subtly as humans, we make our, what we consider to be like a free decision, but we make a free decision to get more attention and therefore we're manipulated. And from our point of view, we just look at our numbers grow and think, hey, we're doing a great job. But from the bigger system's point of view, we're actually all moving in some direction. And each of our tweets and retweets and other types of actions that we take on the social network are like the bees making some kind of decision about their environment. 
together creating a massive interconnected web of global consciousness. And potentially one that a supercomputer could look at everything and say, hey, this is the goal, this is the error, let's move towards it day by day by day. Which would give Elon Musk unbelievable power, the kind of power that we have never seen on this planet before. Okay, so let me talk more about how I can imagine these 10,000 GPUs that he purchased, or maybe even a bigger supercomputer one day being the decider about how this system moves. Because here's where it does get a little bit tricky. I don't know if just something as simple as like giving you more views on whatever you post could actually incentivize you to talk about specific things, or it would be the way that would be analogous to the way backpropagation would use gradient descent. But as humans, I could see a system figuring out what exactly it is that motivates us to do what and kind of manipulating us that way. But a super intelligent AI system that can think about you, the network of all the people you interact with, what it is that you actually want out of your account on Twitter? Probably could. It could figure out what sort of patterns, what it could say to you, ways that the system could prompt you when you log in to get you to behave in specific ways. For some creators, it might literally just be money. It's a creator incentive program. For others, it might be filtering out what their friends are talking about until they're willing to talk about it themselves too, just to join the conversation. And in some cases, it would be multiple levels away from an individual, something that me as a human couldn't figure out, but a system like that could notice patterns in. And here's where it comes down to the scary or beautiful part. A single person, basically Elon Musk or the management team at Twitter could have ultimate control over a system like this. Maybe a few other social networks would emerge over at Facebook or Reddit or something in China, but essentially not that many people might really control the global consciousness. Okay, and looking at the positives first, if we have a benevolent dictator essentially trying to make this system so that it gives us the maximal amount of health, the environment that we want to be healthy in, that would really be a beautiful thing. But more than that, the overall system could do some kind of things that we have never been able to do because individually we never group together well enough to stay aligned. Imagine if thoughtful, accurate, and constructive criticism was all put onto Twitter in such a way that it nudged us towards solving the global climate crisis. A more fair government, inequality, even bringing attention to the kind of things that we never see usually that we really should be. Now, of course, if it's just about profit, then I could imagine Elon saying, hey, I would like my company to be a thousand times bigger than Microsoft and Google and Apple combined. And in that case, the system would say, as you demand, let me figure out how to tweak everybody's personal experience so that you sell the most amount of product. But if I could drive home one point from this thought experiment, it would be that I don't think you're ever gonna have a day where you wake up and just notice that this has happened. I think slowly you might see the result of something if it is Elon Musk becoming the world's first trillionaire a hundred times over and say, wow, what a great entrepreneur not thinking about this system. Sure. But if you think back to the way that you actually grew up, the way that consciousness sort of came online in your life, as you got older and older, you thought about yourself in the environment, what you represent, the kind of actions you wanna take on the world, and your consciousness emerged over time. And the birth of a global consciousness from the X network, formerly Twitter, would probably be the same way. For a long time, the system would be pretty bad at solving a problem, but it would be getting a little bit better and it would still be ultra valuable. And then at some point, it would just work so well in such unison that it still wouldn't be perfect, but we could start saying, wow, that looks like a global brain. A global consciousness that can actually process information similar to how the human brain takes in the environment and makes decisions, but on a global scale. So if Elon Musk had in the back of his head the thought about actually acquiring the social network because he could get everybody working together for a unified goal, this might be the best way to think about it. Each of us users are a human neuron in a digital mind. And while the idea of manipulating people to work together on Twitter in such a way that a global intelligence emerges might seem really far-fetched right now, history has shown us over and over again that big science fiction ideas like this often do make it to our real world eventually. And the world's just starting to get its head around the fact that intelligence isn't something special only to the human brain, but it is replicatable on all sorts of different substrates. Silicon for chat GPT but some kind of a hybrid Twitter network might also just be a possibility. And with the advancement of a supercomputer to help him understand if this is possible and make the decisions about how to guide a network like this, we don't even need to think about Elon as somebody smart enough to create this entire system. We have to think about him as the person to build the computer to make this decision for him. And that's maybe what these 10,000 GPUs are the first step towards. And if you wanna help this YouTube channel, which is essentially a node in the YouTube network, achieve more visibility, smash that subscribe button.